So I hope your review is going great for your finals. And I wanted to come in not per person, via person, but via audio. So let's do a couple of these problems together because I know these are generally some doozies for you, the mixture and the work problems. So number 42 are asked how many liters of water will be added to 20 liters of a 24% acid solution. And we're going to make a solution that has only 8% acid. So you can see the amount of acid is decreasing. Well, we definitely know that this is a mixture problem. And we're going to start off with an acid solution. And then we're going to add some water to this acid solution, OK? So we'll make the water blue. And it will result in a new acid solution. OK. And this just gives us a visual as to what is going on in this situation. Well, now you know the first thing we do in a word problem is we look and ask, what is the question? Well, we can see the question here is how many liters of water must be added? So our unknown is the amount of water. And let's write the units down so we'll remember that when we write our concluding sentence. So it's going to be in liters. So x is the amount of water. Now we know this water will be added to 20 liters of acid. So here we have 20 liters of acid. So then our new solution, what will be the amount of our new solution? We start with 20 and add x. So it would be 20 plus x. Great. Now let's talk about the acid in this problem. So we are told originally we start off with 24% acid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, instead of writing it in decimal form, 24 hundredths, what I will do is I will multiply um, by 100 place. As long as I do that to each part, it's fine. Now for water, how much? Now this is the acid. Okay. So for the water then, how much acid is in water? Well, we've talked about this several times, and the quantity percentage there will be zero. Now our new solution will only have 8%. And again, we multiply by 100, so we can write it as a whole number. Now that we have clarified all the facts, now we are able to write an equation. So the initial box, we've got 24% of 20 liters. And of means multiply. Plus 0% of x liters is equal to 8% of 20 plus x. Excuse me. So now 24 times 2 is 48, but the 0 will be 480. 0 times x, of course, is 0. 8 times 20 is 160 plus 8x. Wow, this works out really nice. We end up with 320 equals 8x divided by 8, and we get 40 equals x. Now remember, you're not done with the word problem. You write the concluding sentence. So the question was, how many liters must be added? So we must add 40 liters. Voila. There is an example of a mixture. Now, of course, you can find more examples in your book uh, in, with the corresponding chapter. And if you look up previous chapters, I do have additional videos. Now, let's go ahead and do one work problem. We have an installer who's coming to the house. He's going to carpet a room in three hours. The assistant takes a little longer, takes them four and a half hours to do the exact same job. If the assistant helps for one hour and then is called away, how long Will it take the installer to finish the job? OK. Now remember, on these problems, again, we always look to see what is it that the question is. Well, the question is, how long will it take the installer? So x will be amount of time for installer. OK, great. Now, if you look at the example, in the you can see the setup of these because basically what we're going to do is we're going to have two people working together, the installer and the assistant. And together, they're going to complete one job. Okay? Now, this is a work problem and everyone's doing part of a job. Remember, we've talked about with fractions that fractions are generally represented as a relationship between the part and whole. Okay? So, 
then we think about if he were to do the whole job on his own, we are told how long does it take him to do his own? Well, we can see it takes three hours. So the installer for him to do the whole job is three hours. Now the assistant takes four and a half hours. And we're going to be working on one job. And we know then how long does it take to do their Well, the installer, we don't know the amount of time. So that will be X. But for the assistant, the assistant now, we are told that the assistant helps for one hour. So that is his part of the job. Now you can see we have a rational equation. And so we must solve this rational equation. And that is we'll multiply by the common denominator. Okay? So we can see that 3 and 4.5 are the denominators. So we're going to multiply by that multiple. 3 times 4.5. 3 times 4.5. And remember, we must multiply every single part of the equation by the same part. And we have something to reduce here. The 3 is reduced. So I get 4.5x. Whoa, what happened there? Crazy pen. 4.5x plus 4.5 is reduced. So we get plus 3. Oh dear, what's 3 times 4.5? Well, we know 3 times 4 is 12, right? And then we're going to add half of 3, which is 1.5. So we end up with 13.5. I knew you could do that. Now subtract 3, and we end up with 10.5. Now don't be afraid of these decimals. 4.5. What is that as a fraction? 4.5 is 9 halves, right? equals 10.5. What's that in a fraction form? That would be 21 halves, right? Now we're going to divide by 9 halves, or with fraction talk, that means multiply by the reciprocal. And, ooh, this is nice. We end up with 21 over 9. Well, how many hours is that? Would you ever tell someone over 9 hours? Of course not. So 9 goes into 21 two times. That's 18, which leaves 3 behind. So it will take the installer two and one-third hours. But again, do you ever tell someone, that's going to take me two and one-third hours? Of course not. We have to change that one-third into minutes. So one-third of an hour is how many minutes? Some of you probably are hopping in your seats because you know this. It is 20 minutes. So it's going to take the installer two hours and 20 minutes to complete the job. Very good. Now you do your practice problems and do them well. Whoops, not well, good job.